Hey guys, today we're going to be trying this Siete hot sauce, habanero hot sauce, right? So, <clears throat> in the, and it's made with avocado oil, it has this nice, delicious looking orange flavor. Now, if you saw my last video that I just recorded, um, I'll probably be publishing it around the same time. I just reviewed the, the, the uh, jalapeno hot sauce from the same brand, nowhere near as spicy um, and not expected to be. This, I'm expecting a fair amount of spiciness to it, but we're about to find out. Let's review the ingredients real quick before we try it, though. And it does tell you shake before use. And you can see, like, there's some oil buildup right down here. Um, that's going to have to be the avocado oil. And, uh, you know, up here, the actual sauce. So definitely shake before using. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. We got water, apple cider vinegar, avocado oil, golden beets, carrot, dates, sea salt, poya pepper, flaxseed, garlic, habanero pepper, uh, quilaya, quilaha extract, chia seeds, and turmeric. So it said dates and uh, carrots. So I, I, I'm, I'm guessing the, the beets and carrots have to be what give it that color. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of expecting that and the dates are gonna give it more like a really rich, sweet flavor. But let's let's see, let's try it out and see what, the, what, what flavor hits us first. I was actually surprised with the last one. You might want to go back and check that video too. But um, yeah, let's give this a shot. Yeah, you might want to check my last video um, where I reviewed the jalapeno sauce. And I've done a lot of other hot sauce videos that I'm publishing at around the same time. So either like, you know, right after this one or right before this one. All right. Oh, you know what? I forgot to shake it. So that is not good. Don't do what I did and forget to shake it. All right, it should come out a little bit easier. It still doesn't want to come out right away. I mean, I think it's getting stuck at the neck of the bottle. All right, there we go. <clears throat> so let's try this out. It's a pretty good spoonful for something habanero. Different flavor, different from the habanero for sure. <clears throat> they have different ingredients. Um, definitely spicier, definitely getting that delicious uh, habanero flavor there. Um, yep, definitely meeting my spiciness expectations. Um, <clears throat> absolutely terrific. If you want something spicy, get this one, not the jalapeno. The flavor is different though. Like I, I could swear I'm tasting the... Uh, like I'm tasting the vinegar a bit more. It's more vinegary. Um, <clears throat> let's give this. Let's try a little bit more. Whoop! There's a that came out real quick. So you shake it, and after whatever's blocking that is initially cleared out, it's a little watery. Hmm. Yeah. I think it's the dates. The dates maybe combined with the carrots, but. <clears throat> Yeah, I think the dates are giving it like a sweetness combined with, um, <clears throat> like I'm tasting that sweet date flavor combined with, uh, you know, with the, with the vinegar. It's got that like sour, so it's kind of like a sweet, sour flavor together. It's got vinegar and dates together. <clears throat> I think that mostly drowns out the other flavors in there. Now, <clears throat> I think with, with the jalapeno sauce, I was actually tasting the, uh, like the avocado oil was uh more like I could taste it more and like the, the flax seed and the pumpkin seeds in the last one were coming through this doesn't have any pumpkin seeds but it has flax seeds and that flavor was coming through more on the jalapeno sauce not so much on this sauce and I think it's just because it's more spicy and that kind of overpowers the flavor that that's what I'm guessing anyways or maybe in the other one I was just tasting the pumpkin seeds and not the flax seeds <clears throat> any case um let's see here yeah, so yeah, basically, I would say the top two ingredients that I'm I'm tasting are, uh, and, and certainly it's a combination of a lot of things at once, and everything kind of comes together. But really, I'd say what makes a difference is probably the vinegar and the dates. That's that's like those are the stronger flavors in it, um, <clears throat> you know, next to the spiciness. But uh, yeah, really, everything together is what makes the sauce, and it's, it's what makes it 
unique and delicious. It's a, it's a complex flavor and it's pretty delicious. So I'm going to recommend this one. Um, <clears throat> I think, I think this, this was slightly more interesting and slightly tastier, but not, not spicy enough for me. It's still pretty delicious. Still going to use it. Probably will buy it again. That said, um, <clears throat> Yeah, this is what you get. That's that's my review of this uh, Siete, if I'm saying that right, um, Siete hot, Habanero Hot Sauce. Um, might want to pick it up. I picked this up at Whole Foods. Um, I'm going to try to put a link in the description to where you can buy it, probably on Amazon. If I can't find it, um, definitely just uh, remember, keep your eyes open next time you're at Whole Foods if you want to buy this. Um, and uh, that's that's about it. So you might want to keep your eyes open for... for um, our other videos coming up, we're review reviewing a lot of different hot sauces and a lot of other different food products. We also go out to restaurants and check, try different kinds of foods. Um, we show you how to cook things at home and all sorts of stuff you're not going to want to miss. You never know what you're going to get with this channel. So um, you're, you're going to want to keep, you know, um, you're not going to want to miss what we have coming up and you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the little bell icon, otherwise YouTube won't even let you know when we come out with a new video. And um, you might want to give us a thumbs up if, if you feel like it. And um, more importantly, though, is just leave a comment down below. <clears throat> if you've tried this yourself, you have your own experience with it, or maybe you've tried other similar sauces, or um, you, you plan to try this, leave a comment down below letting us know what you think. And, um, you know, not just for me, but for everyone else who, who watches this video. Sometimes the comments section is better than the video itself. So that is about it for today. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next video. <clears throat>